everybody. Welcome back to X Nanny Q. Thank you for joining me this week. So tonight we're going to talk about postpartum depression. A lot of moms go through it. A lot of moms actually have to see therapists from it. A lot of moms, you know, kind of get into a very dark place. And everybody is different. If you're a mom that, you know, have to see a therapist, thank you for taking the time to do it. Thank you for healing yourself. Thank you for making sure that you were your biggest cheerleader and you made sure that you were healthy mentally. I want to make sure that moms understand postpartum depression is very real. I have um, a lot of my clients that experience postpartum depression and sometimes their kids are older than a year. Nobody has a time limit on when it, you know, it will happen. But be thankful if you didn't, you know, go through it a lot and my mom said went through it. Thank you for making sure you got out of it. Postpartum depression can happen. It happens because your hormones drop. After you go through childbirth, your hormones are out of whack. That's why I talk to a lot of my moms and say, hey, you know, with your hormones all over the place, please don't try to make important life changing decisions. Your hormones are going crazy. Also, I try to tell my moms to make sure that they educate themselves on what postpartum depression is, you know, so they can be aware of the signs that they're feeling. One of my moms, she just felt like the baby didn't like her. Every time she picked her, so her daughter up, it felt like, you know, they didn't have a connection. And her postpartum depression lasted for a while. I'm a postpartum doula, so when I came into the situation, the baby was at nine and a half weeks, and we did some soul searching together with her and the baby. It took some time. I also recommended that she see a therapist because a lot of time postpartum depression can bring up old things from your childhood to make you feel like you're not getting it this way, so this might be why your child is acting like that. And sometimes it's just life. So don't ever make it where what you're going through is small because it's not. You're getting ready to have a baby. And some of you guys already have kids. That's a big change in your life, no matter if it's your first child or your ninth child. Every child is different. Every experience will be different. So you might then get postpartum depression with your first or your fifth child, but now you're suffering from it now. If you feel like things are getting out of hand, please see a therapist. It's a great idea to. Also journal, write it down. Make sure you have positive people talking to you. Pray, pray, pray. Write your prayers down. Get you some oil and oil your house. Get those spirits out. Remove people and places and things that mean you harm. You're into healing, and you're trying to make yourself better. You don't need anybody that's going to constantly keep throwing in your face what you're doing wrong. At this point in time, you're trying to heal. So a postpartum depression is something that you're going through. Make sure you talk to somebody. Some of the early signs of postpartum depression is every time you feel, you feel like nothing is good enough. No matter how much somebody is helping you, it's just not right. You feel like you should be doing it, but then you also feel like you're not doing it right. You find yourself crying at everything. You find yourself getting depressed. If any of these things are going on with you, mom or dad, because dads go through postpartum depression, if you feel like any of this is going on with you guys, make sure you see a therapist. See one separate, see one together. The only difference with men when they have depression is because they feel like they don't know what to do as a father. And they don't want anybody to know that they're depressed because they feel like they should know. And it's okay to ask questions. It's okay if you don't know dad. It's okay. You can ask questions and a lot of you guys you know, you don't want to ask questions because you had an amazing father, so you should know what it means to be a father. There's a 30-year difference sometimes between you and your dad. What you did, what your dad did, what you might not work with your child. Ask questions. Go online. Google some stuff. 
You can even ask Nanny Q. But seriously, get help. If mom feels like she's just not doing it, or mom, if you just, you can't put your finger on it, but something doesn't feel right, talk with somebody. Please. Don't make it feel, don't make yourself feel uncomfortable to make others feel comfortable around your child. No. Also, mom, make sure that you have your birth plan. Know who you want to be in the delivery room because when postpartum depression actually does kick in, you know, that person might still be around. It might be family from out of town. If you feel uncomfortable or any kind of way, make sure somebody hears your voice. Make sure to talk to your husband. Make sure to talk to whoever. Dealing with postpartum is so serious that when I feel that my moms are going through it, um, a lot of the times I make general conversation about things that we probably never would talk about just so I can kind of find out mentally where they are. Um, I ask questions like, you know, you, you catching up on your sleep? I know you've been in the bed lately. Oh, you know, if they start telling me I just haven't been feeling well, you know, uh, since you here, it seems like the baby likes you more. And I say, no, I don't think that's it. I just think you're tired, but we can all sit together. I always try to make sure that my moms feel included. When you're going through postpartum depression, the last thing me as a doula or a nanny or whichever role I'm playing, the last thing I want to do is to make my moms feel any kind of way. Only thing I want you to feel like is a queen. I don't care if you're a single parent, you're married. I don't care if you hired me as your doula or as your nanny. I try to make sure that you feel just as beautiful as I see you. I try to make sure that my moms experience such an amazing first two years with their kids that they can't give anything but love to their kids. I've had some parents that go through postpartum depression and they go through it real bad. And my role is to make sure that they see a therapist. My role is to be an ear, to make sure that I listen. I'm not there to judge them. I'm there to help them. My goal is to make sure that I suggest some things. I will never tell you what to do. I suggest some things. Something that we have to stop doing is telling people, oh, you should do this, oh, you should do that, when they're new parents. Suggest them some things. Because who says that your advice is right? Every child is different. And to my moms who are going through postpartum depression and you didn't get to bring your baby home from the hospital, my hearts go out to you. I pray for you guys, and I always ask God to make sure that he sends nothing but a fresh wind over you. Give you strength to make it each day and give you a peace of mind to understand that he is not forgetting you. You are still with him. Something that I never want um, my moms who don't get a chance to bring those babies home from the hospital to hear is, you can try again. Oh, you know, things happen. God, God, you know, I hate when people say God and things happen. That's not for you to say. Give them positive energy. Don't tell them, oh, you y'all, you can try again. Because that might have been their ninth, tenth time trying. So let's make sure that when we're talking to our moms who, you know, have lost their babies, let's make sure we're more sensitive. You can try again it's what you don't want to hear. You know, you don't want to hear, oh, that baby been passed away a long time ago. Why are you still mourning? Because she can. You don't want to hear, oh, why are you celebrating Mother's Day? You didn't have your baby. No. How you feel about something that they're doing means nothing. So send them love. Tell them Happy Mother's Day. I have a few moms who that has happened to. I tell them Happy Mother's Day because they still birthed a child. Their child just turned into an angel. And I still make sure I, you know what, Happy Mother's Day, beautiful. 
I have a very good friend where she's lost five babies. And I told her, you got a football field of angels. God felt that you were that special that you got that many angels. Because what I might say, I don't want to hurt her. And it's not my job to hurt her. My job is to make sure that I uplift her. My job is if she says she's having a bad day, let's go do something. I can't change the situation. I'm not a doctor. I'm not God. But what I can do is be an ear for them. I would listen. We can talk all of it. So, Mom, if you feel that, you know, you're just going through it emotionally and physically, please see a therapist. I'll drop a link at the bottom for um, therapists for black women. If you need a postpartum doula, make sure to send me an email. Or maybe you just need somebody to talk to. Please email me. And all my family and friends, they know that I am one of those. You call me if you ever feel alone. I might not have an hour, but I can give you a good 15 minutes. Just so you can know that somebody is listening and not judging. And you can guarantee that I'm going to make you laugh. Now, thank you guys for... You know, watching Ask Nanny Q. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for everything. I always leave all the links to the t-shirt line, our Amazon store, our Instagram, and our websites in the comments. Thank you guys. Have an amazing evening. God bless you.